Hello everyone and welcome back. You probably haven't seen my title already. We're doing a uh, what if we give Earth Pluto's Moon Sharon? So this is Pluto's Moon right here, Sharon. Uh, Pluto's Moon Pluto's Moon Sharon's actually half the size of Pluto. So yeah, I don't really know where we're gonna where we're gonna like put it. But I also forgot. I did not come up with this idea, um, somebody commented on one of my other videos, um, I think his name was Nick, and thank you for the, um, the idea. So yeah, let's, let's get into it. So I don't really know where to put the moon, I, th I mean, Sharon. I think we're just gonna put it right here by the moon's orbit. See if anything will happen. So Earth now has two moons, and we'll see which one survives longer. The moon or Sharon? I'm, I'm putting my putting my bet on the moon. I mean, if you compare Sharon and the moon, ooh. If you compare the moon and Sharon, the moon is a lot larger than Sharon. And not that large, but still pretty large. We can just go to Charlie, I can show you. Oh, whoa. Okay. Yeah, okay, right here. Right, so yeah, so here's... Oh, there's Pluto there. Let me get rid of that. Yeah, so here's the moon and here's Sharon right here. So yeah. That's how big uh, the moon is compared to Sharon, so... Put my bet on... The moon. <laughs> Maybe a chance that Sharon could collide. Oh. Oh. The moon. The moon had Sharon in its orbit for a little bit. Oh. Oh. Well, there goes the Sharon. The moon pretty much ejected it. So, Sharon is now a dwarf planet orbiting the sun. I wonder if anything will happen if Sharon and Earth will come close again, where Earth can uh, grab it again. I don't know. Let's speed up things a little bit, see if anything happens. I doubt it, but we'll see. Yeah, I don't think really anything is going to happen. So I guess that's what would happen. Sharon Cher would get ejected because of the moon. But just for fun, I will do it again. And see what happens. Oh, and see what happens. Alright. Sharon number two. Oof. Sharon is instantly getting pushed out. Further and further. Oh, oh, Ooh. okay. Sharon gets all that. Oh, the moon, the moon has Sharon again. Nope. Sharon is. Yeah, I think Sharon may escape the gravitational pull of Earth. Eh, no, it, it isn't. Come on, oh damn. Oh, that did. Oh, nope. Sharon's orbit's kind of weird. Oh wow, look at the orbit. <laughs> <laughs> Speed up time some more. Share number two is lasting a lot longer than share number one. So what's gonna happen? Is Sherry gonna collide with something or is Sherry just gonna get ejected like last time? I think 
I don't know, I think Sharon is just gonna escape Earth. Still, it's still hanging on. Which I'm pretty surprised to it, actually. Oh, oh. Yeah, no, it's gone. Alright. Yeah, that's what that's what would happen. I guess the moon would eject Sharon. Because the moon is a lot larger than uh the moon's a lot larger than Sharon. Just compare it here. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that's it in this video. Um I'll see you in the next one. See ya.